It's been four months since I started with my new home-based job. It was overwhelming since I don't have competitive hardwares, good desk, and chair to use back then. So hi, I'm Mac Gaff. I'm a graphic designer based here in Manila, Philippines. So let's start first with my main equipment, the MacBook Pro 16-inch 2019. It has a 6-core processor, 16GB of RAM, 512GB storage, and with integrated AMD Radeon Pro 5300M. Even though it's just a base model unit, this thing is a beast in performing all the tasks that I need to edit. I strongly recommend this if you are planning to buy a MacBook Pro laptop for editing and don't want to spend more on the higher end specs. I also got this Apple Magic Mouse in Space Gray to match my Space Gray laptop. I admit that this mouse is ergonomically worse than I thought since I have a big hands. But what I really do like about this mouse is the multi-touch gesture that really helps me navigating on the screen when editing. Since I'm using a laptop, you can't avoid experiencing back and neck pain because of the bad posture. To eliminate that, I got this laptop stand from Nilkin. It's made of aluminum material. It's perfect for me since you can adjust the height to match your eye level. Typing on the keyboard laptop will make your hands sweat because of the thermal surge of every laptop when it's being used. That's why I got this mechanical keyboard. This is the Keychron K2 version 2. I really love the quality of this product. It has a nice color that matches the color of my laptop and my other stuff. I really love the sounds of the button clicks every time I type on it. This is very affordable compared to Apple Magic Keyboard. The best thing about this keyboard is that you can switch mode between Mac and Windows. MacBook laptops have USB-C ports only, so I bought this multi-port hub from Basius Philippines. It has 3 USB 3, SD and micro SD card reader, HDMI, and one USB-C slot. This is affordable compared to the Apple's multi-port adapter with limited port slots. For file management, I directly store my important files here in my old 1TB external hard drive. This is a data brand. I occasionally use this HD before so the memory space of this can still cater my files as of today. Illuminating my workspace is also valuable for me especially during evening and Zoom meetings. This minimalist desk lamp from Xiaomi is a great choice because you can change its color temperature and can be controlled using a voice command. Hey Siri, open Google. What do you want to ask Google? Turn off desk lamp. I'm also planning to convert my workspace with the smart automation system so please subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting my smart automation setup video here soon. Finding the best corner for my workspace is quite difficult in a small bedroom. So with this small desk from IKEA, I was able to manage my minimalist desk setup that can accompany all my stuff. I love this table but the material is cheap and the corners are breaking apart and easy to peel off when being hit by hard object. But so far, it's a decent table with a clean design. Lastly, one of the most important stuff in my workspace is a comfortable ergonomic chair. I bought this from Ergo Philippines. I'll leave the link in the description below for your reference. This is fairly affordable ergo chair for me because the armrest can be adjusted vertically. It also has height adjuster and reclining adjuster. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions and suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll provide you my best answer if I can. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Keep safe and happy new year to all. See you on the next one!